My first big runway show, like real fashion, was Mew Mew. I was absolutely terrified, shaking in my boots. I was the third girl out. The first thing I could think about was if something happens, it's gonna be very noticeable. But it all went well and it kickstarted my career. I wasn't technically discovered. My mom took my pictures. She submitted them online to a few agencies and got some emails back and I started off in Miami. Some New York agencies came down and saw me on the board and brought me up to New York for some tests. It was just a different beast here. I had never seen like sky rises and energy like it is in New York. And I had a very big adjustment period also being so far from home. I think we can all agree that Miami style is a bit different than New York style. I had to retire the stilettos and hoop earrings. My first job out of the country was Cartagena, Colombia. And I took my mom with me and we, you know, we didn't speak the language. We didn't know what we were doing, where we were going. And that's kind of the fun part. And every day was a new adventure. I've gotten to see some amazing places and maybe change my inherited opinions about certain places and certain things just because I got to firsthand experience how wonderful the world can be. My first big runway show, like real fashion, was Mew Mew. I was absolutely terrified, shaking in my boots. I was the third girl out. The first thing I could think about was if something happens, it's gonna be very noticeable. But it all went well and it kickstarted my career. I've had a wonderful experience navigating personalities on set. I am pretty easy to get along with and I'm very good at reading people. What you see is what you get. Every couple years I have a new aha moment, I've made it. And shooting with Mizell, he puts these mirrors in front of you so that you can see yourself. Then he has fans going and music going and you can see him behind the camera doing like certain movements that you know he kind of wants you to do. And I felt like a true, like a supermodel, like, this is what it must have been like. I was invigorated just by his presence. Shooting with Carl was really amazing. He was brilliant and precise and had everything planned out to a T. And when I shot at my first campaign with him, the first picture we took one shot. He just had a vision and everybody was really wonderful to be around. You went to set, you did your hair and makeup, you guys had dinner. It would start really late at night and then we'd shoot a whole campaign within three hours and then we would have dinner again and go home. And he was witty and funny and opinionated and just really amazing human. The thing I love about modeling is that you take on this character and you're transformed. And every day I'm a completely different person and I get to like, I don't know, be funny and accentuate different sides of my personality. And that's where acting seems very interesting to me. Like I, I love the challenge. Sometimes people cut their hair and it's like, oh, new hair, new me. I felt finally me. I felt for the longest time that I was hiding behind my hair. When it was gone, I felt like I had really come into myself. I'm in a new chapter in my life. I'm a married woman. I have a, I have a son. I, you know, I, I have this whole domestic life going on. I didn't feel like a child anymore. I felt like a mature woman. And when I cut my hair, I really saw myself. It's very hard to juggle life and career like I got married, I have a dog, I have a two-year-old. And to jump around and leave that all behind and jump into a space where I am Grace Elizabeth, not just mother, wife, friend, is sometimes very difficult to do. And then also to jump right back in when I get home. I am terrible at social media. It is most definitely necessary. And I think it is a wonderful tool to present your personality and your brand as an individual. Do I always do it? Do I always have time? Not necessarily. I don't post like, you know, when I'm just like hanging out doing this and whatever, because I never have my phone out. When I post, it's usually like work or a topic I'm talking about. So I don't think a lot of people really get to know me. I'm quite socially awkward and funny and super nice and relatable, but I'm not sure if that always comes across, but I really hope it does. I'm very goofy, as you will see in my Pentel's tour. Follow me. Doesn't this just speak to you? Well, come on. Stand there. Time is money, honey. Don't touch it. Perkies. Praying. And. You ever go to the park or you just look at it? Why would I need to go? I don't leave because I'm afraid they won't let me back in. The real owners are out of town. <laughs> After you, my dear friends.